welcome to a walkthrough of the CyberRain Pro software. Let's begin. Once you see the number of controllers your computer has detected, click Next. Make sure to include your zip code so that CyberRain can accurately adjust your watering schedule to your local weather. Also, be sure to include your email address for updates and alerts. If there are any watering restrictions in your area, be sure to check the box in the lower right hand corner. Make sure only those days and times that you are allowed to water are checked. If you have no watering restrictions in your area, you will proceed directly to the next screen. When you are finished, click Next. You will now set up your CyberRain controller. Use the arrows to select the number of zones you would like your controller to manage. You can also choose up to four start times daily. Let's choose one. Use the arrows to select the time you would like watering to begin. If you have a rain sensor installed, check the appropriate box. When you are finished, click Next. The Cyber Rain Scheduling Wizard will now prompt you to enter specific information about each of your zones. Enter the name of your zone, the type of plant in your zone, the sprinkler type, the soil type, the amount of sun exposure, and the degree to which there is a slope. Pictures and a description are provided to help you with your selections. CyberRain will use this information to create a watering schedule specific to each of your zone's needs. When you are finished, click Calculate and go to Next Zone. After you have finished all zones, you will see the baseline watering schedule that CyberRain has come up with that is specific to your watering needs. This is the number of minutes of watering needed during the hottest months of the year. You can manually refine your watering schedule by clicking on the zone and the corresponding day. Then, use the arrows or simply type in the number of minutes you would like to water. The weather panel shows you your local forecast. Based on the forecasted temperature, humidity, and rainfall, CyberRain will adjust your baseline watering schedule. In this example, CyberRain will water 15% less due to the temperature and 15% less due to the humidity resulting in a 30% reduction in watering time overall. If the forecast is for rain, CyberRain will not water at all. You can also do manual runs of your zones right from your computer. Use the drop-down box in the lower left-hand corner. Select the zone you wish to run and click Run. You can adjust how long a zone runs by moving the slider. You can also put your entire controller on hold from this page as well. Simply click the hold button and select the date you would like there to be no watering until. To resume watering, simply click Resume. To the right hand side you will see your system alerts. CyberRain will alert you of a problem with your irrigation system, such with a yellow or a red light. Should you encounter a red or a yellow light, a description of the problem appears in the System Details tab. You will also be sent an email with the same information so you can get the problem fixed as quickly as possible. The current gauge reads the current going through the valves and will let you know if it is abnormally high or low. The temperature shows you the temperature inside the controller and everything is fine if it is in the green area. If an optional flow meter has been attached, CyberRain can read flow and alert you of broken or blocked sprinklers. The flow meter shows the flow going through a valve and the counter keeps track of the cumulative, similar to an odometer. Here is a demonstration of the system alerts. Note that when a malfunctioning zone is run, CyberRain will alert you of a problem with a yellow light. Your sprinklers will still run if there is a yellow light, but CyberRain will not water if you encounter a red light. Once you have the problem fixed, you will again see a green light. Use the Zone Details tab to manage specific zones. You see the settings you entered in the Smart Scheduling Wizard and adjust them if necessary. Here you can view the cycle and soak settings for your zone. If you indicated during the Smart Scheduling Wizard that one of your zones resides on a slope, CyberRain automatically adjusted your watering to only run your sprinklers for a small time and then let the zone soak before running it again to prevent runoff, saving you water. If you would like to adjust these settings, move the slider. If you want to put a particular zone on hold, go to the Scheduling Override section of the page. Check the box next to Zone Hold and select the days in which you would like no watering to occur. The Offline Watering tab shows you the default watering adjustments for your zip code. If your computer is off for an extended period of time, CyberRain will adjust your watering schedule based on these historical averages, saving you money and water even when you are on vacation or away from your computer.
The Statistics tab will show you the amount you have been saving with CyberRain. The green indicates savings because CyberRain didn't water. You can view this weekly or annually. CyberRain users average 38% savings. Click the Activity Log button to see all of your irrigation events, including scheduled sprinkler runs, manual runs, and alerts. This has been a brief walkthrough of the CyberRain Pro software. Thank you for choosing CyberRain and helping us in our effort to save water. For more information, you can visit us on the web at www.cyber-rain.com. Thank you.